Yo, what is good, everybody? My name is the Coach King. Today, I'm doing part three of my series, Underrated, Overrated, and Fair, where I talk about three coasters that are pretty similar and say which one I think is underrated, overrated, or fair. Uh, these three are going to be Millennium Force, Leviathan, and Fury 325. So let's just get right into the video. Starting off with underrated, I don't think this is going to be a surprise for too many people. It's going to be Leviathan at Canada's Wonderland. Uh, this is seen as one of the worst gig coasters in the world and really just not looked upon in a good way uh, among enthusiasts. I think it draws many similarities to Orion at King's Dominion that's going to be coming in the next year. And I think it definitely deserves a more respect in the community. So one thing I do want to talk about is that it is a B&M Giga. So in, in many ways, it, it has its potential to be a Fury 325, right? But but does it match the potential? Yeah, probably not. But the ride is actually much better than most enthusiasts say it is. That they, they complain about the lack of airtime, the lack of intensity in the ride. However, it does really have those elements. It's just that it, it's not as famous, not as well known as the Millennium Forces of the world. Uh, rides like Millennium Force, who were the first Giga, are known for being the first Giga, known for being the crazy one. So, uh, this kind of gets the shadow there when it comes to being well known in the industry. Right, but Leviathan is, Leviathan is still a great ride. Uh, some of these, these, these little things right here, the airtime hills, the bank turns are not that strong, but these airtime hills right here like this, very strong. They're very strong elements that I'd honestly have to be seen as strong and, ha and really make the ride what it is, which is a great ride. I do think Leviathan is the best ride at Canada's Wonderland uh, over Yukon Striker and Behemoth. I also think that it is much better than Behemoth, which is there being a hyper right in the same park. Uh, I think that Leviathan is third place in the Giga Coaster list, close to second, uh, you know, but depending on, on, on where you ride it. I heard that. I also hear that it, towards the back row, the ride is amazing. And, um, you know, there's no complaints really about the back row kind of ride, but, you know, People still don't give it the respect it deserves, so that's where I think it deserves the underrated spot on this list. For the fair ranking, I'm going to put Fury 325. Fury 325 is, is widely regarded and pretty much accepted that it's the best Giga in the world, and I think that's a fair statement. Here's why. It's the fastest Giga, it's the tallest Giga, and it's the best Giga. It, it has the most airtime, the most intensity, and the most balance of everything. There's rides like Antonia 305, which is super intense and super crazy. And then there's rides like Leviathan, who have almost too much airtime. So this, I feel like, really balanced it well between airtime and intensity. And that's why it is the best Giga in the world. Uh, you know, everybody's rankings of Giga pretty much will have this at number one. Um, and, and number two, three, four, and five. Usually five is his. Nagashima Spa Land one, but this one is, is just usually seen as number one, and, and rightfully so. The drop is one of the best of any coaster in the world, and this is often seen as the best coaster in the world. Uh, this drop, obviously, you're, you know, you're going quick after this, you're flying through the track, and obviously, one, I had a video the other day on um, best looking coaster colors, this was my number one. I think that, yeah, it makes it that much cooler, just how cool the track looks and how it really interacts with everything. I love how they redid the entrance when they made this ride to, to really fit this in there and you know made it almost like a gatekeeper kind of thing. This bridge element is so cool going right under the bridge and it's just one of those rides that has an awesome layout and awesome intensity and overall just one of the best rides in the world if not the best ride in the world. So that's why I do think it deserves the spot of being fair and not overrated as many people do suggest at times. Uh, one thing I do wish is, is it uh, had more airtime. And I, I'm, I'm more of a fan of, of ejector airtime, and this has a lot of floater airtime. So that's one thing I always wish that it had more ejector airtime rather than just focusing on floater, really. But then again, I don't have any major complaints with the ride other than that. Uh, it's, it's one of the best rides in the world. Definitely not overrated, and that's why I'm putting it in the uh, fair spot for this video. And lastly, for overrated, I'm sure you guys kind of put the puzzles together it's going to be millennium force this was the first giga and probably the most famous of the giga coasters uh it's often seen in the golden ticket awards as like the top couple steel coasters in the world and does it deserve it absolutely not 
you know, you ask people and there's a reason why the ride is nicknamed Millennium Force List because it doesn't have much air time, it doesn't really do much for you other than being a fast, tall ride. Of course, the drop's going to be decent, but you're not going to get as much force as you are on Leviathan, Interior 305, Fury 325, and that's why it's just not one of the better gigas in the world. It's still a great ride, don't get me wrong. It's still a top 5 in Cedar Point, but it is not one of the best gigas in the world never mind being one of the best coaches in the world in general it's just an overall very good ride but not the best ride uh, in the world as many people do suggest it to be uh, I, I don't think you get much air time I, I really don't especially in the back row you might get some but not enough that I can make it better than other gigas uh, these, these little turns here interior 305 just does it better overall just does it better the Millennium Force does it so uh, I think Fury beats it in airtime and Intimidator beats it in intensity so it's kind of just taking the L on both a little bit there uh, you know it, it is a long ride which is awesome it does definitely give a very a very fun and, and lengthy ride but the thing is is do you get that many forces on the ride or is it kind of just a tame you know millennium force list kind of thing and, and that's why I'm putting it at overrated because I feel like it is forceless That's me, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about these this video, uh, and let me know for video ideas in the next in the near future. Uh, see you guys.